turn back the hands of time to supersize and grow your business. I don't have a clock available these days to show, but a lot of times in movies or in pictures or in graphic representations, in order to show the past or moving backwards in time, they'll have the hands on a clock because the time telling device on regular clocks, not digital clocks, uh, or pendulum clocks would show the hands moving forward normally, but to show moving backward in time, they would have the, the hands go backwards. Now, what does that mean? It means to recreate or imagine or to remember things as they once were, things as they used to be. A lot of times we like to reminisce or think about the way things were. Whenever we get together with groups of friends or groups of people or people that we used to work with, we like to reminisce and remember the good old days. Uh, back at an earlier, usually less stressful, less uh, responsible time in our lives. So this is an idiom or an expression. Clocks were actually invented in the 14th century. Not sure when exactly this expression came to be, but it's been used probably as far back as clocks when people want to explain an earlier time or going back to an earlier time. Thus the lovely shawl, old fashioned hair, old fashioned shawl, old fashioned glasses. I didn't have real old fashioned glasses, but I have an old pair of my glasses, so that's turning back the hands of time. And with respect to glasses and eyesight, I would love to turn back the hands of time in order to regain my vision. But some things are not possible. That would be included in the list of things that probably aren't going to happen in the future. So if you could go back in time, my question today is, and I'm really curious, if you could go back in time to any time, any age, and I always like to say knowing what you know now, because if I had to go back in time and I didn't know what I know now, there would be no point in going back and reliving any time or any experience in my life because the, the only way I would want to do that is if I had the knowledge I have now, then I would go back and I'd probably be about 23 years old again and I would do a whole lot of things differently. 21 to 23, probably 23 because 21 still a little immature, 23 more mature, ready to start being an adult so I could actually use the wisdom that I had gained in the last 31 years to go oh, more, more than that, 37 years. <coughs> probably more than that too, to go back and, and utilize that wisdom and, and take some different turns, take some different directions. Now, I always say I wouldn't go back because there's things that, good things that have come out of bad situations in my life that I would never want to not have as part of my life. I wouldn't want to not have them as part of my experience. So with respect to our businesses, are there things that we can learn by looking back at the past? Well, of course there are. We can look back at our past performance, our past successes, our past things that we've done that have worked really, really well for us, and we can recreate them in the future. We can look at the, the results we've had in any area or aspect of our business or are continuing to have and say, how do we get more of those? We want to learn from what works, and we want to learn from what doesn't work so that we don't do it again in the future. So there's lots of ways to look at the past to not necessarily predict, but learn forward and move into the future to create the business and the life that we want. So I'd love if you would share in the comments below things that you like to go back and look on. I like to look back because it shows how much progress I've made. And I want to always make sure, even though there's going to be always be ups and downs in my business, that I'm actually moving in the direction that I want to go. From where I am to where I want to go, where I want to go is up here. I want to make sure I'm at least making baby steps toward that. And will some go back and forth and back and forth? Of course. But I want to make sure my overall trend is moving toward the things that I want for my business and my life. All right, have an awesome day. That's our time-related idiom for today. I will see you tomorrow with another time-related idiom. Again, hopefully with a more pinpointed, targeted origin than the last several have been. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.